Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the co-dominance of alleles. Now, in a heterozygous organism, usually in videos I've talked about previously, when we talk about heterozygous organisms, we think of, we tend to think of those with an allele that's maybe dominant and one that's recessive, and they express the dominant phenotype. Now, with the co-dominance allele pattern, what we see is that both alleles in that heterozygous organism actually contribute to the phenotype. Both are expressed equally and independently and not blended as Mendelian genetics first kind of suggested would happen. And I'm going to use, I would have drawn these pictures normally, but it would have taken a ridiculously long time. So instead, we're just going to use these two pictures in the middle of the screen to talk through what you'd get in this kind of scenario, a past exam question, if you like. So what we've got on the left hand side is a red bull. And on the right, we've got a white cow. Now, this example of the red bull and white cow, this is just one particular past question I'm using. Another one you could refer to is the AB blood grouping, which results from two alleles A and B. And I've done a separate video about blood grouping and that, if you wish to watch that one. Um, now, this reddish coat colour that we see in the bull is actually not completely dominant to white. So when you look at coat colours in horses and cattle, what you see is this red coat, red coat colour isn't completely dominant to white. Animals that have both alleles have coats that are what we call roan coloured. That's R-O-A-N, roan coloured. Coats with a mix of red and white hairs. And the red and white hairs, as I've said, are expressed equally and independently. So we've got this red bull, we've got the white cow, and what I've just written there essentially are parental phenotypes. Now the phenotypes tell you the physical characteristics. So red bull, white cow. So we're gonna we're gonna lay this out properly as you would in an exam scenario. Now if we were to consider the pair of alleles that we'd find in the red bull, if we use C for coat colour, what you'd find is that the red bull has two alleles both for red coat colour. So instead of alleles both red, it's homozygous for red if you like. And if we look at the white cow, what you'd find if we use blue for this one, we've got it as homozygous for the white coat colour. Now what I've just been drawing there are the parental genotypes. The genotypes show the actual letters involved. So it's an easy way to think of it that way. Phenotypes are the physical characteristic. The genotypes show the actual genetic letters that we're looking at. Now, if we were to cross those two, if we were to cross the white bull and the red cow, what we're going to observe is this uh, grown coat coloured organism being produced. So we need to, first of all, show the gametes. So if we were to draw out the separate gametes here, it would look a bit like this. If we just draw them separately here. Because remember, the gametes, the sperm and egg, can only have half of the DNA. So we've got our four combinations there. Now, we could do a Punnett square. But if we were to imagine every possible combination, so this one with this one, if that gamete met that one, if this one met that one, and if this one met that one, all four combinations would lead to the same thing. They would all lead to, and in fact I'll just refer to these, I'll just put this here for completeness sake, these are the gametes. What that would lead to is this combination here. We'd have one allele that is represented by the R, the red, and we'd have one allele for white. So what we're seeing is a heterozygous organism. Now this here, this is our F1, because it's the first generation offspring genotype. So this is our offspring genotype. Now quite clearly We've got two different alleles here, and this here represents our roan coat colour. So rather than having red or white coat colour, we've got roan, which is our F1, essentially our F1 offspring phenotype. 
So now we've got calves or, or babies that have this roan coat colour. They are heterozygous, where both alleles are independently and equally expressed, and that's what co-dominance of alleles refers to. Now, remember, in an exam question, you may be told the genotype of the male and female parent, but it's always worth not to assume that the gene in question is sex-linked. So, in this example, I've shown here the co-dominance of these particular alleles, and we've ended up with a roan coat colour. Now, I'm just going to give another exam question based upon this particular scenario and just talk it through, and I'll, I'll show how to lay out the answer for that one. So, on another particular question that I had seen, it said, describe the classical phenotypic ratio. So, we're looking at phenotypes here. Phenotypic ratio for a co-dominant gene resulting from the cross of two heterozygous parents. So, in this case, what it's saying is to cross the two roan cattle and use a Punnett square... Um, would probably be the best way to lay this out. So we've, got, we've been asked to describe the classic phenotypic ratio for a co-dominant gene resulting from a cross of two heterozygous parents. So we're going to use this example of the right red bull and white cow. So in this example, we're going to be crossing one that is CRCW with one that is CRCW. So we've got two heterozygous and if we were to do the Punnett square, essentially it would look a little bit like this. In fact, we will just lay this out fully. I'll just do the complete thing. So if we look at the combinations that we'd get here, we'll get CR, CR, CR with a CW. A CR with a CW, doesn't matter which order you have it in, and a CW with a CW. So you can clearly identify we've got a red coat, a white coat, and two that are roan. So if we had red to white to roan as a ratio, what we've got is a one to one to two ratio. So our phenotypic ratio in this one is one red to one white to two roan, to two heterozygotes. So one dominant for one trait, one dominant for another, and one that is essentially co-dominant, a combination of both. Now there are many other types of questions that you can find in past papers on this, but just to again re-emphasize the key thing, is that co-dominance refers to inheritance patterns when both alleles in a heterozygous organism contribute to the phenotype. They're expressed independently and equally, and then not blended. So in this example, by blended, you, want, you might think red and white would make a pink. That's not actually the case. You will have, in that coat colour, a mix of red hairs and white hairs. It just appears overall slightly different. Okay, I hope that video helps.